Okay, so here's where we're at so far. We have the four link in. We have um, fake shock struts in to uh, uh, give me my ride height. We've got everything tacked. Um, I'm not going to hard weld everything until it's all mocked up and figured out. So, uh, yeah, playing it safe. And I uh, went down the rabbit hole of figuring out a, uh, a sway bar and found a kit uh, Rhodes Racing makes, and it's a weld together, and there was an awesome YouTube video that a guide went through it, and uh, so I was able to kind of visualize how it was gonna work. The, uh, the layout directions uh, want that uh, bar at uh, 10 degrees, and then there's a inch and a quarter chromoly 3 16 wall tube that will get, will get welded to the arm, and then those bushings, sit in uh, housing that then that gets um, positioned so that it can bolt into the frame. So I get it. It's, it, it took a little while seeing it uh, in action to, uh, to get my head wrapped around it. I'm used to a, a solid bar that just has some brackets here and there. And, and this is a lot more of a, a custom deal, but because of the rear end, it made sense. And this isn't a factory situation. So no factory uh, bar would have worked. Well, I guess I could have played around with factory ones and maybe made something work, but using the four link, it needed to be a different style. Anyway, so that's where I'm at and uh, we'll start putting it together and uh, show it as it goes. So here's the arms that uh, got TIG welded together and then uh, squared up and put on the uh, longer bar. The uh, not so pretty TIG welding, but uh, hey, we ground it flat. And then these brackets were... Um, to hold the uh, the sway bar onto the four by two tube across, um, they took a little bit of effort to uh, to get just right with the angle so that it was good uh, contact and area to weld. This is just uh, getting ready to put it together and uh, keeping it all uh, looking good and rust free. There's those brackets. So this is ride height and taking out a temporary shock. There is the right height. We go down, I believe it's about three inches of travel down. Easy peasy. Go back up. With the world's slowest harbor freight jack there is. And Easily can go up a bunch. Um, I'm probably going to have to clearance the bar that holds the uh, sway bar um, for the drive shaft, um, but I'm going to do that once a drive shaft is in there just to be sure I don't take out too much or too little. And so going up, no problem. Um, the shocks uh, have a certain amount of travel, and I can go way beyond that. So I will put bump stop in, of course, which I'm working on now. And um, the Axle uh, obviously positions right and left based on the up and down with the uh, panhard bar. So I'm going to put it at ride height and then try to illustrate some swivel. And it's so heavy, it's moving the frame off the jack stands a little bit, but it gets the point across. There's plenty of, there's plenty of room in there, no binding at all. So that's all I wanted to show. All right, thanks for watching this, and uh, I'll, I'll do a few more pictures once it's all reassembled. Here it is. Got a sway bar, all set, right? We got ride height adjusted. We got bump stops in. Um, gonna still add a bar in the back here for strength once I know what's going on with the body mounts. Um, yeah, parallel. Uh, uh, bar there. Everything's uh, everything's as the instructions told me to do it, and it uh, swivels great, and it's got lots of articulation, and yeah, win.